This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. <laughs> well, that didn't come off quite right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yep. All right. I don't know what the hell's going on out here, uh, but you know, this is the other scenario that I was—I've mentioned before that I don't know if he had something to do with something on the side, but I don't—I don't—I'm not sure I believe anything that's in this article. Okay, and uh, hold on a second. So anyways, there's an article out right now by the Daily Mail that puts out a whole bunch of information. It sounds like, you know what it sounds like to me? That they were speaking to the, their source is the book writer guy. And, uh, you know, some other YouTubers, you know, that's their quote source here. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely something that's possible. There's a lot of people that have speculated over the years that it was a kidnapping plot that went that botched but um, I guess the part that never made sense about that would be why would Richard Allen if he was kidnapping somebody put his leave his car so far away however if you were going to just bring them over to Ron Logan's house you know that isn't really that far um, but I'm not sure how come this information wasn't uncovered years ago when they searched his home digitally I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at this article here. Daily Mail isn't... They have. They always are good at getting pictures really quick and everything, but their stories and articles a lot of times aren't very accurate. So, I know that uh, to be true. Hold on a second. Okay, anyway, uh, okay. <clears throat> I have to go. I just got a text message there. So here is the Daily Mail article. Right here. It says exclusive. Murdered Delphi teens were intended victims of botched child sex kidnap plot. Cops believe as investigators dig up dead cat to try to match hairs found on girls to alleged killer killer's pet. See, all of this stuff seems like stuff that, um, you know, I think some of the Ron Logan people have conceded that, that that isn't Ron Logan on the bridge, even though one of them tried to claim that they saw a white mustache on the, on the guy on the bridge, which is... Um, L O an L one oh one moment, man. Absolutely bull crap. Alright. So it sort of sounds like somebody's fed this information to uh to Daily Mail, and Daily Mail is pretending that these people are experts. Okay? So it says Richard Allen was allegedly part of a child sex ring 
I mean, some of this stuff I could buy into uh, that plan, but this part it says that plan to kidnap and rape Liberty German and Abigail Williams, Alan. And what were you going to do with them afterwards? By the way, I mean, since you live in the town, Richard Allen, and everybody, you know, and people know Ron Logan do it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not going to buy this. I'm just not going to buy this. This thing doesn't make sense to me. Murdered Delphi teenagers, Liberty German, and Abigail Williams were victims of a botched kidnapping plot hatched by members of a local pedophile ring. Okay, that, well, there is a ring. So what, what, it, what they're doing is they're putting together a whole bunch of stuff that, uh, yes, you're blocked, Chuck. Uh, either, yeah, people usually ask that when nobody responds to their comments. It just means they didn't find them interesting. You know what I mean? All right. This is just one of, a, uh, the, one of a host of disturbing new details and allegations which can be exclusively revealed by Daily Mail. All right. It comes just two weeks after authorities released a redacted version of a probable cause affidavit that led to suspect Richard Allen's arrest. Allen 50 was charged on... Here's the thing, everybody. I've already said it before. If Ron Logan was the other person that they were acting with, then they would have told us all a long time ago. Like, uh, he's dead, everybody. It's not something you needed to hide that he might escape and run away. Yeah. Alan Fifty was charged on two counts of murder on October 28th, five years after 14-year-old Libby and 13-year-old Abby were found dead in Delphi, Indiana on February 13, 13 2017. Uh, Carroll County Prosecutor Nicholas McClellan has open, openly stated that he believes Allen is not the only actor. Yep, yep. And while Allen has not been charged with kidnapping, prosecutors have alleged he attempted it. Now, sources close to the investigation have claimed that Allen was acting with at least two other men and was all involved in a child sex ring. Okay, so let's see. It's uh, one of the Kleins... Uh, Richard Allen and Ron Logan. Is that it? Now sources close to the investigation, meaning the guys that write books, have claimed that Allen was acting with at least two other men and was involved in a child sex ring. Uh, last month, DailyMail.com revealed pedophile Keegan Klein, 28 of Peru, Indiana, who is currently awaiting trial on a slew of child pornography charges, was cooperating with state police and prosecutors in a bid to reduce his own charges. Sources told DailyMail.com the girls met Keegan Klein online and he arranged to meet them that day but didn't go. Instead, he set them up to be kidnapped for the porn ring. Let's see. The girls met Keegan Klein online. He arranged to meet them that day, but didn't go. Instead, he set up, set them up to be kidnapped for a porn ring. Yeah, I mean, so it sort of, you know, it kind of fits on the sort of skirt, uh, outskirts of the, you know, other theories that we have out there that are more uh, reasonable. But uh, hey, anyway, hey, hey, guys, this is just a normal show, everybody. Just like a normal show. I uh, wish they would say who these sources really are. Yeah, I, I think I know who the sources are, <laughs> and they're not they're not part of law enforcement. During uh, one of several police interviews reviewed by DailyMail.com, Klein admitted to soliciting underage girls for nude pictures by catfishing them, posing as teenage girl Emily Ann or hunky actor model Anthony Shot. It was as uh, it was as Schatz that he communicated with German. Chillingly, Schatz was one of the last people to communicate with the girls before they took their fate, fateful walk on Delphi's Monon High Bridge. Remember that was at eight in the morning. Police interrogating Klein told him, "Hey, thanks, rad story." There we go. And tonight, I think I'm gonna make a. Make some donations out there, you guys. So, thank you very much. 
let's see, chillingly, uh, Moon and I Bridgefield. Police interrogating Klein told them that they they did not believe he committed the murders, but was protecting the identity of whoever did. Now the source was revealed that Klein has cut a deal with prosecutors. Yeah, well, we've known that for a long time. The search warrant on Allen's home and property were carried out based on Keegan. Okay, but here's the thing. Keegan also says he waited in a car. Why would, why would he be waiting in a car for somebody? Okay, let me see. So the kidnapping was going to go like this. They were going to kidnap the girls, bring them to um, Logan's house. Then he was going to walk back to his to another vehicle waiting for him to then drive over to Logan's house? <laughs> I don't really get it. Why not just park at Logan's house, you know, like in, in a garage or behind it or something out of the way? Hey, thank you, Tamara. Not today, but Tamara. I don't know. Not not buying it. Not buying it so far. And thank you, Jeannie. All right. Uh, the search warrant on Allen's home and property were carried out based on Keegan's testimony. The sources told Daily Mail. I mean, that's possible I guess Indiana State Police Carroll County spokesman Sergeant Jeremy Pierce would neither confirm nor deny well that you know because they can't they have a gag order any of the details when put to him by Daily Mail he said law enforcement has not released any of those details or anything beyond what is in the probable cause the source claims that Klein from whose Devices, police retrieved a treasure trove of child pornography, knows Allen, and that the men met when both lived in Peru. See, this is all, you know, <laughs> do you guys see how this is all sounding like? This sounds like people, all the stuff that we've all talked about, yeah, Peru, Peru, Peru. He never, he actually did, he worked in Peru. But he didn't um, live there, you know, so. Source also claims that both men knew Ron Logan. Okay, the source claims that Klein, from whose devices police retrieved a treasure trove of child pornography, knows Allen, and that the men met when both lived in Peru, roughly 40 miles northwest of Delphi. Jeez. This, the, he didn't live in Peru. Okay, there's a different person with the name Richard Allen, different age, everything. He's the one that lived there. The source also claims that both men knew Ron Logan, whom police first pegged. <laughs> the source claims they both know. So here's how it could, here's how it could go, uh, Daily Mail. Well, listen, just listen. Just listen, Daily Mail. They both knew him. And they realized that it was causing problems that they kept saying it was Ron Logan on the bridge. So they've had to, um, you know, like backtrack and allow Richard Allen to be the bridge guy. Let's see. The source also claims that both men knew Ron Logan, whom, whom police first pegged as suspect in the killings after the girls' bodies were found on his property some 1,400 feet from his home. An FBI search warrant served on Logan's home and property dated March 17, 2017, revealed that on February 14th, the day after the killings, Logan asked a relative to provide him with the false alibi. Oh, God. Yeah. See, I know this is all, this, it was a, it's a, something woven together here. I'm not saying it's not, quote, possible. It just feels like this is something that has been contrived by the it's Ron Logan crowd who got a hold of perhaps even the guy that wrote the book. You know, Daily Mail might consider the guy that wrote the book an expert on the case. Yeah, he told a cousin to say that a friend had picked him up and taken him to a fish store between 2 and 2.30. Right, except he told police it was 3. Uh, putting himself at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. And as a matter of fact, he had what his motive was was to avoid uh, being put in prison for breaking parole 
uh, I don't know, I think it was driving, he was, wasn't supposed to drive or and drink or something like that. And guess what, everybody? He got two more years in prison, which I think was pretty harsh, but obviously they didn't like the guy in general. I mean, two years for that was pretty hard. I don't know, Dave. What does it have to do with what we're talking about here? Here, hold on a second. All right, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, let's see, but now sources have told, let me get go where I was. Yeah, Logan Alibi was shown to be a lie and text messages retrieved from the phone. So they're leaving out stuff from this. This is like the people who wanted to read the Ron Logan document and just pretend that it was some huge nefarious, oh my God, look at this, look at this. They're, it's the same interpretation of it. The last time the girls were known to be alive was at 2.13 when German made her brief cell phone recording of a now infamous bridge guy approaching with the words, Guys, down the hill. Logan's alibi was shown to be a lie and text messages retrieved from his phone showed that he was out of his house in the vicinity of the murders on the evening of February 13th. You mean he was on his property? Okay. He, his property is the crime scene. I mean, it's like, you know. The FBI document also noted Logan asked his relative to lie for him the following morning before the crimes were even discovered. Yeah, because the day before, there, uh, there were people walking around his property, and he probably realized that they were going to um, be, you know, questioning him, and then it would be revealed that he went to the fish store however the dump he wasn't concerned about because he didn't believe that there was a camera there yeah thank you sensei wackadoodle <laughs> the fbi document also noted logan asked his relative to lie for him the following morning before the crime even discovered was discovered yeah but they were missing from the day before See, I noticed he left that out of this article, too. Logan died at the age of 84 on February 24, 2022. So that would have made him 78 or 9, I mean, really? And was never named as a suspect. But now sources have told Daily Mail that Logan, who had a history of violence against women, oh, my God, oh, God, here we go, was involved. According to the source, investigators believe that the plan had been for Alan to kidnap the girls and bring them to Logan's home where he and allegedly Klein would rape them. Well, what about and Richard? He and what about Richard Allen, though? So you were just going to, I think they meant, let's see, plan for Alan to kidnap the girls and bring them to Logan's home where, oh yeah, he and Klein would rape them, not Logan, though. They said the girls were supposed to be kidnapped for the sex ring, but something went wrong and he knifed and raped one and almost decapitated the other. Okay. Um, well, so far, there's been no indication that one of them was raped, but, um, I mean, other, you know, I guess one of them was found nude, perhaps, but uh, they've said that there ha wasn't a sexual assault. Well, it's hard to say. They they haven't said anything about that. I don't believe. But the the one source that we had from a long time ago said that it wasn't. It was from like a distance or something. I, I don't know. This is uh, <laughs> you know. It's hard to it, what, when when you have a conspiracy theory and they put stuff in. A lot of times it's hard to debunk because of the way 
you, you can do it. You know, you use information that's out there and you put it together and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm not, an, I don't have investigative knowledge. Like I'm not part of the investigative team to know exactly what they have. And so they might be list, watch, reading this and just laughing, just going, oh my God, this is, this is hilarious. Now, they said the girls were supposed to be kidnapped for the sex ring, but something went wrong. Okay. And he knifed and raped one and almost decapitated the other. So, remember, that, I mean, what's weird is that that part right there fits the part about, remember the, maybe Libby fought a hell of a lot harder and he had a gun, you know, like he actually cocked, well, he had already done that at the end of the bridge and then maybe he didn't want to shoot the gun when Libby fought and then eventually ejected the bullet out of it I don't, I don't know yeah it's they're just using these sources and I guarantee it the sources are these YouTube channel a uh, YouTube channel that's out there and one of the people they have on all the time it's exactly their little thesis you know i mean you guys know what i'm talking about right there's a book writer a pi and a youtuber that are all sort of saying the same things over and over and over and over again okay and none of them have and they've been saying this before there would have you know like uh just after the logan document they don't have any inside information. Now, that being said, do, can I prove that this isn't true somehow? No, I can't prove it. You know, I can't, um, I can't actually, you know, I can have counter arguments. I mean, why would, um, <laughs> let me ask you this. Why wouldn't Richard Allen go over to, Ron, well, shit. No, wait, why wouldn't Richard Allen go over to Ron Logan's house if this is all set up and go, hey, man, something went really wrong. I need to get cleaned up over here. Let's uh, let's get cleaned up. Let's get cleaned up. Instead, he walks out to the road, bloody and muddy, and walks over to uh, towards his vehicle where it was parked. Does that make sense? Can anybody explain why, Rich, uh, why Richard Allen wouldn't go over and say, man, something went wrong. Let me get cleaned up. We got to cover this sucker up. Yeah, no. You guys there? <whistles> Hello? Yeah, that guy's uh, uh, just ridiculous, Jimmy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, all right. Police have been tight-lipped about the girl's cause of death, saying only that there was a lot of blood at the scene. Logan and Klein never met the girls. Right. Mm hmm. Now, DailyMail.com. So let's see. So then uh, <clears throat> Alan went back over to meet, wait for a. <laughs> I don't know. What's the part about Keegan Klein waiting in a car, though? He apparently says that that's what he did. Speaking, uh, let's see, new, now DailyMail.com has been told that the murder weapon was a knife and that both girls bled out. Oh, wow. You guys just found that out? Yeah. Uh, speaking well ahead of the probable cause affidavit released, the source revealed that the girls were killed near the river. Ooh, wow. You guys just, <laughs> the source told that they were killed near the w river? Holy crap, you guys are on top of it. Well before the probable cause, everybody. So the source knew well before the probable cause that the killing was near the river, which we've known since February uh, 14th or 15th, 2017. But I'm glad they were able to figure that out. Information since confirmed, but then moved and posed naked under a tree. Right, yeah, we, we've known that for a long time. The FBI search warrant served on Logan's home also included 
law enforcement's belief that the killer may have taken souvenirs. And this picture here, I think, is, I would actually think, maybe like 2014 or 15. This is way before, they were much, you know, they didn't look this young here. They were older. And here's the screen, the shot taken of Abby on the bridge. And you can see behind, you can't see the, the Richard Allen character because he likely went back to not spook the girls and stand on the bridge. He wanted to make let them have um, sort of feel safe to go out onto the bridge, right? He wanted them to go on the bridge. So he probably left this, the area and is further back here watching. And this is him. As he was coming, uh, uh, you know, I think it was at um, 2.13 at the end of the bridge. And we have this video right here a second. And those people in the background are just from another photo that was taken. Don't worry. Alright, so you got that. Uh, DailyMail.com has been told that underwear and a cell phone were taken from the scene. And no, that's not true. Um, and it was L phone, uh, cell phone and socks. Where are you getting... I mean, not. it was underwear and socks, not a cell phone. Where are you getting the cell phone? The cell phone was found there. What are you talking about? Daily Mail ha has been told by who? Who told you this? They took underwear and socks. The newly released probable cause affidavit also re revealed that one of the <clears throat> girls could be heard saying the word gun. Well, I, I revealed that on the show four years ago, okay? That Abby says, is that a gun? He's got a gun, okay? But nobody picks up on it or uh, reports it. it uh, but uh, we talked about it years ago. As a matter of fact, I might even be going over, I'm going to go over that information again, that information and then the source information that we had from a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, the stuff that's in here. According to the source, the killer was wearing a gun on his waistband. No, he, he was not. <laughs> you see, these are just, uh, wow. No, he was not wearing a gun on his waistband. Okay. Now, you, well, you might be able to say if he did and the jacket was over it and he had it sort of propped up underneath. But you can't see if there's a gun on his waistband. So you don't know that for sure. Now, now i got to go listen to these interviews with these guys because I guarantee it they've said all these things. Man, how embarrassing. Man. Well, if not true, okay, but I really am, have huge doubts on this. Well, one of, one of the sources said, my sources said, I would just go with your gut feeling on this one. Because <laughs> they can't talk, they can't communicate. So, anyways, I think my gut feeling is it's totally bullshit. Okay, that's what uh, I'm doing. Police recovered a six hour model P226 as well as knives from Allen's home. Allen's wife, Kathy 50, confirmed that the weapons were his. Forensic testing of an unspent round near the girl's body showed that it had been cycled through Allen's gun. According to the probable cause affidavit, even though the bullet had never been fired, it bore telltale and unique signs of having been in Allen's, uh, in Allen's weapon. What? Or one of unique signs of having been in Allen's weapon. Okay. The affidavit states between October 14, 2022 and October 19, 2022, the Indiana State Police Laboratory performed an analysis of Allen's six hour model P226. Thank you, Stace, on the case. Uh, the laboratory performed a physical examination and classification of the firearm, function test, barrel, and overall length measurement, test firing, ammunition uh, component character. Yeah, we already went through all this stuff. Yeah. Um, Allen could not explain how a bullet that had been through his gun could have ended up there. He denied even having been on the property or having left lent his gun to anyone. 
DailyMail.com has learned that there is more forensic evidence that points to a link between Allen and girls in the form of transferred pet hairs. See, that's just a theory, okay? Yeah, although they did say, you know, hairs and whatnot, and they took Kagan's dog, or I think they took his dog in to check its hair at one point. <laughs> Invest the goat. Yeah, I like that one. That was good. Shortly after his arrest, one of Allen's neighbors recalls seeing police digging in his yard. Now, Daily Mail has been told, see, by who? <laughs> That's such a shaky... Has been told they were digging up family's dead cat whose hair proved a match for a sample... Now, I hope that's true. I mean, that'd be great, you know. Alan was strenu has strenuously denied any involvement in his killing. That sounds like the line from... Uh, what's the line that with... Uh, it's not the truth! I mean, yeah, what was the one uh, by Tom Cruise? What's the name of that movie? When he's a lawyer. It almost popped into my head, and then it went... When... Um, the Demi Moore character said, We strenuously object. No, not the Pelican Brief. Yeah, you can't handle the truth. Yeah. A few good men. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, that's what that sounds like. He strenuously denied. Well, how do we know that? Can we see his face? Do we, did we check for hemorrhoids after he strenuously uh, objected? I don't know. Allen has strenuously denied any involvement in the killings, though he admitted to police that he was at the trail on the day that the girls uh, went missing. According to probable cause affidavit, several youngsters saw him there ahead of the murders. Yep, three girls saw him. His lawyers say he's simply the wrong guy. They have dismissed the probable cause affidavit as flimsy and described the forensic relating to the unspent bullet as junk science. Alan is also someone whom his lawyers... Oh, by the way, by the way, that Dr. Grande guy, yeah, I, I watch him sometimes. He, he did one on this case, and he, he just had so many things off. He left out of his analysis, you know. And all his people are going, Great stuff, man. I knew you would look at this. Well, you left out a lot of the key stuff that was in the affidavit in timing. So it wasn't really as great as everybody was saying in the comments. Uh, they argued that the likelihood of a tainted jury pool should be drawn from the girls and Allen's home county is excessive. So that, yeah, I mean. They say, he's, uh, his lawyers say he stands no chance of a fair trial. Let's see, what are people saying? I want to see what some of these comments are. Just two bullets, one for each. Ah, oh, jeez. God. Somebody said, Pence and Buttigieg are from Indiana. Just saying. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I think this is absolutely ludicrous. Okay. Well, I mean, when I say ludicrous, I guess I could say I don't, I, it doesn't make sense to me You know, and what you know, the funny thing about Dr. Grande is he used to do, he would sort of analyze people's mental, but he sort of now people want him to just talk about true crime or something. And he's just not, he's not, ver, uh, he doesn't know enough about the crimes for him to do that. If you want to talk about their mental uh, capacity or something like that, that'd be great, but. I don't know what he's doing. I went over and I was reading that, and I was just, you know, you kind of left out this part, and you left out that. Yeah, you left out this one. Yeah, no, you left out this one. Yeah. He was kind of mocking the police, too, saying, um, I can't remember now. You'd have to go watch it. I might have an update. Hold on, I messaged somebody. Hold on. 
I'm just seeing her since she came out of, of okay so this is from Nancy I'm just now seeing her since she came out of the OR she's very groggy and in a bit of discomfort otherwise she's doing well and just resting the doctor did have to use have to use cement in one part of her joint. What do you mean cement? Because her femur had a lot of osteopenia uh, in it. Um, I'll let her know you were asking for it and I'll get back in touch with you later this evening. Thanks for checking in on her gray. I know this means a lot to her. Okay. Well, there you go. So, sounds like she's out of surgery. Boom chakalaka! Woo! All right, Lillian. Um, I think it does. That they can't talk about this at all with anybody. So what do you what do you get? What are your impressions of this thing? I mean, I guess you could have to say technically, it's possible. But like, how does it work? Given the known information, a car backed in over by the abandoned CPS building. And they were going to abduct Abby and Libby, bring them over to Ron Logan's house where Kagan Klein and Richard Allen were going to have sex with them or something, and then do what with them? Let them go back out into the community where Ron Logan lives and Richard Allen actually has a face that people see often at a store. And then uh, Richard Allen, instead of saying hey going over to ron logan's house and saying man things went really wrong here man can you uh, help me out i gotta get cleaned up and then walking down the street unscathed to his car looking unscathed to his car instead he walks to his vehicle down th 300 muddy and bloody yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah that makes a lot of sense that's just how i would draw it up Yeah, you guys hit that subscribe button. All right. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, feel free to do so. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've been in a shot where I'm lined up with uh, Abby and Libby. That's kind of sad. Creative writing degree at the Daily Mail like this author did. Oh, it's just unbelievable. Things like, we've been told. You didn't mention the source in that one. I mean, I can't believe some of the stuff that they just found out. That they were they were killed by the river. Whoa, that's exclusive new information. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, that's the update, everybody. I guess we'll have to go over it tonight again. Maybe do the phone calls and people can call in and say why, what they think of the theory, and maybe we can debate it. I think that'd be a fun debate. Now, if you can argue the side that it's true, without having and being able to explain the things that are contradictory to it that'd be great yeah so all right you guys that's that's it for the update thank you all for being here and i don't really have much more to say because i'm just dumbfounded i mean this this has a very likelihood of not being true and so it's like come on daily mail wow uh, I think what they did was they relied on a couple of these sources out there, a P, uh, retired private investigator, a guy that wrote a book. You know, it sounds a little bit like the stuff that they've been selling to people out there. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. We will see you uh, later this evening. And as I always say, everybody, until next time, be safe. Oh, by the way, thank you to... Uh, Ah, oh, shoot. I have to go. I do want to say thanks. Gosh, Gray, why do you whistle like that? I just like to come to the show for the facts. I don't know. Why not? Okay, so thank you to uh, Rad Story, Tamara, Eugenie. Annie T, Cheyenne R, Sensei Wackadoodle, I Miss Caitlin, 
Stace on the case, LMM, Alley Cake, and V I Fly. All right. So thank you very much. We'll see you this evening. And be safe out there. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six. Yeah, I've been doing this true crime thing for quite a while now. And during this whole time, I have not seen one person that is a crime dissector, like rejecter. I'm a certified human lie detector. Gonna get ya on a stretcher if you try and play me like an old projector. Crime sector is my nectar. But if that's a gray, is when I give another lecture. Crime collector, and I'm always gonna be a pup protector, fool deflector, interceptor. And I'm meaner than a spectre with a vector On his pector with all respect ya Just remember I've a temple fucking check ya I have no agenda I'm the pretender And I'll serve it to you straight without the blender And in the end I'm gonna send ya On a mission to reveal the true offender Yeah, so I'll just get right back to work Alright everybody, talk to you later. You know, that's just one step above stupid have you lost the last three brain cells, or do you just have cabbage for brains? Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Did you hear what I said? There's mosquitoes the size of bald eagles in that dadgum swamp. Five brain cells, four aren't working. Huh? It's the house!